A titration is a technique used to work out the concentration of an unknown solution when you know the concentration of another solution. You carefully add the known solution to a set volume of the unknown solution until the reaction is complete. This enables you to work out the concentration of the unknown solution. You may need to use the indicator to signal the end of the reaction. You can calculate the concentration of an acid or an alkali by carrying out a titration experiment. In this video, we're going to look at how to carry out titrations. In the next video, we will then look at the calculations to go with the experiment. The apparatus needed for titrations looks like this. The pipette is needed to accurately measure a certain volume of the unknown solution into the flask. The barrette is then used to accurately measure and add the known reactant to the unknown until the reaction is complete. The barrette can measure up to 0.05 cubic centimeters accuracy. To carry out a titration, you follow these steps. 1. Using the pipette, add a set volume of the unknown solution to a clean conical flask. 2. You may also need to add a few drops of indicator. 3. Fill the barrette with a known solution. 4. Record the starting volume on the barrette. 5. Slowly add the solution from the barrette to the unknown solution in the conical flask. You may need to swirl the flask to mix or use a stir plate. 7. Stop adding when the reaction is complete. The end point is reached. This is where an indicator may help because there would be an appropriate color change. 8. Record the final volume. 9. Subtract the final volume from the initial reading. This gives you the volume of the solution added. This volume is called the titra. 10. For an accurate experiment, you should repeat this experiment a few times until you get consistent values for the titra. Depending what indicator you use will depend if the color change is gradual or a sudden change. If you are carrying out an acid alkali titration, you may use a universal indicator which would give you gradual color change, whereas litmus would give you a sudden color change. Sometimes the acid may be the known solution and the alkali unknown, and other times the alkali the known and the acid unknown. So we have carried out the titration a few times and have a consistent titra value. What do we do next? Titration calculations. Now that you know how to carry out titrations, watch the second part of this video to see how to do a titration calculation to work out the actual concentration of the unknown solution. All you really need to remember is that titrations are used to work out the concentration of an unknown solution when you know the concentration of another solution.